the problem with the PS4 Pro? Um, I shall tell you now. Now that I've covered the details, it says, um, sometime, sometime ago I emailed you about this PS4 Pro where my mum's boyfriend had tried to clean it inside and ripped off the power connector. Yes, that's right, he's the one that super glued it back on thinking it would work. Oh dear. Um, I know it's been some time since I emailed you, finally got around to wanting to get it repaired. Um, finished out the invoice and shipping it to you as now you're good techie. Yep, thank you, I appreciate that. So, yeah. This has had the power supply connector ripped off and super glued back on. Should be fun. Okay, well, there's no point in trying to turn this on then. Might as well just take the thing apart. Okay, what is the dealio with this? Because this appears attached. Ah, okay. Yeah, the pins are not. It's stuck down, but the pins are not attached. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, that's not too bad. I've definitely seen worse than that. What board is this? NVB004. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and get that off because otherwise I'm not going to be able to restore it. Yeah, this might... I might struggle with this to get it to come off. Might need to warm it up a little bit or something like that. Acetone. I haven't got any, mate. I don't own any acetone. I wonder if I can just warm it up to get it off. Like to loosen the glue up. That's broken actually. I might I might be better off just replacing the connector. Depends if I've got one for this board. My heat's at like 160 degrees by the way. It's not incredibly hot. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hmm. God damn it. Jesus. That's stuck down good. That is stuck down pretty good. I can say one thing. That's one way of securing it anyway. Will IPA dissolve it? Probably not. Yeah, super glue. I doubt IPA is going to dissolve that. As he stabs himself. <laughs> um, I might just need to break it away. But if I do that, I need to make sure I've got another board with a connector on it. Yep, melt it off indeed. Now I've got a replacement I can. That's stinging my eyes a little bit. She eat it off. I didn't want to damage the board anymore. <clears throat> a lot of damage, Tracy's. It's only four. It's completely normal when you get um, damaged connectors. They're not too bad to fix as a general rule. I've only ever had one that I couldn't fix on these. Just one in three years. And that was because the guy didn't tell me that he dropped the console after he damaged it. Yeah, the guy dropped it, dropped, dropped the actual board on the floor after he damaged the connector. And I was like, yeah, I can't fix that. I've still got that board. He ended up not paying for re-delivery. I might take the APU off it one day because that's going to be on a really early firmware. One of the, probably one of the first 20 jobs I've done. It's going to be on a really early firmware. It's from like 20, 2019 or 2020. Right, let's try and um, try and clean this glue off as best we can. Don't want to leave it on there.
Right, okie dokie, let's get to repairing this bad boy, shall we? It's a great video. I'll take a watch, mate, definitely. Um, I watch all the Tronic Fixes videos anyway. Um, I'm a channel member on his thing. I support a few different YouTubers, you know, like other people support me and whatnot. Um, <coughs> it's only fair for me to do the same. Well, I wouldn't say it's fair, I just I want to, so I do. Um, but yeah. Uh, so I'm a channel member on Tronic Fixes, and um, yeah, I just haven't had time to watch his video this week, to be honest. You fix stuff like for subscribers. Um, I fix stuff for customers, mate, yeah. Um, so you can book in repairs, so if you go to, if you type in exclamation point repair, uh, that will take you to my website where you can book the job in. Um, if you want to quote first on how much it will cost, then you can contact me through that page as well. Or through that website as well. What do you do during the day? Uh, do you repair only on stream? No, I'll do repairs on. I'll do repairs in the day as well. Uh, this is my only job. This is the only thing I do. This and looking after my kids. That's it. Well, to be fair, I mean, Sarah does mostly looking after the kids. But during the day, I'm normally doing like the admin part. I do. I do a lot more repairs at night than I do in the day. Uh, during the day, I'm normally doing admin stuff like posting parcels, out, parcels out, responding to emails whenever I remember. I'm absolutely shocking at rep replying to emails. Um, you know, editing videos, that sort of stuff. Uh, replying to comments on YouTube, because that's a full-time job in itself. Just replying to comments sometimes can get really, really tedious. And I like to reply to as many comments as I possibly can as well. You don't play games? Not really. I've got Xboxes, I've got Playstations, I've got Nintendo Switches, but I just don't get the time to play them. I could make time, but... Yeah, I used to play... Um, I might start doing it again, actually, because I've just bought... Um, well, I finally bought an extension lead so we can plug the bedroom TV in that we've had since... I don't even know when. We've had it for nearly enough a year. 50-inch 4K TV, never used it. Probably turned it on three or four times in a year, in almost a year, uh, in the bedroom. Uh, but I just bought an extension lead which came today. Uh, so I might put my Series X in the bedroom and start playing games on uh, Twitch again. I used to do it before, I used to play uh, like Call of Duty on Twitch, stuff like that. I might start doing that again. Maybe. Right, I'm going to replace these ground pads using solder braid. If I do miss um, comments, I don't mean to. Uh, it's just so I have to concentrate on this more than I have to concentrate on comments. And uh, this unfortunately has to take priority because these don't belong to me. So I'll just make my own ground pad using solder braid. Right. Next up is to lay some jumper wires. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a jumper wire. What's the braid for? Uh, that's because the the ground pads have been torn up. So on some of the models of PS4, uh, in fact on all models, of, I think it's all models apart from the original PS4 Pro, the NVA001, uh, but on some models of the PS4 Pro, the, the connector that's got to go back on here has got some anchor points. So you see these metal things here, these are anchor points for the, which helps to secure the actual connector in place. Like that, look, you see. So because these have been torn up, what I do is I use some solder braid to restore that. And then it just sits on top of there and it creates a really strong connection for, um, for the connector. Stops it from 
being torn back up. I'm doing it that way. I used to do it by soldering like I'd, I'd grab some jumper wire and I'd solder some jumper wire like that, and then I'd solder it like that, and then I'd kind of like weave a new pad like that. But now it's just easier and quicker to do it by soldering a bit of solder braid to the uh, to the board. This is 0.1 millimeter, mate. This jumper wire, 0.1 millimeter. Plenty thick enough for the amount of current that goes through these wires. Never had a problem with it. Yeah, 0.1 millimeter. I mean, you can use thicker if you can get away with it. Um. Right, it doesn't have to be 0.1 millimeter. I've used 0.17 millimeter. I've used 0.1. Um, I've used 0.2 millimeter. It just depends what you've got around, I guess. It doesn't have to be 0.1 millimeter. Um, it's best to have a selection of different jumper wires. Like I've got, I've got this big reel of 0.1 millimeter. This will last me for the rest of my life. Uh, I've got a huge reel of 0.067mm, so like 0.6, uh, so a, a sixth of what this is, uh, which is basically human hair, style, human hair size, and then I've got a twentieth of this, a twentieth of 0.1mm, so a two hundredth of a millimetre. So I've got various different sizes depending on the task I'm doing. I don't think I've got any 0.2 millimetre left. I think I only had a little bit of that. But I've got I've also got a load of 0.17 millimetre as well. The 0.17 millimetre I'll get from um microwaves. It all depends on what task I'm doing. Like the, the 0.02, so the two hundredth of a millimetre. That stuff is perfect for stuff like iPhones. Um, and then you've got the 0 0.067 millimeter, like the human hair, human hair size. That's perfect for running jumper wires underneath BGAs, like um, Nintendo Switch CPUs, or you know, if you damage a pad on the South Bridge or something like that. And you've got the 0.1 millimeter, which is this stuff. That's perfect for this sort of stuff. And then you've got the 0.17 millimeter, which is perfect for like HDMI ports. So different sizes for different jobs. I just get that flat to the board if I can. You can just, of course, use um, wick. I know Jason from STS Telecom just breaks up a load of wick and uses that. Like if you was to, if you was to sit there and, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's going. If you was to sit there and um, de-strand your wick, you can use that. If you've got no jumper wire and you're in a bit of a sticky situation, or you can use something like a speaker out of an iPhone and just take the wire out of that. There's loads of different things you can use. Right, okie dokie, I'm gonna just conform or coat these wires, stop them from going anywhere. So this is called Solder Mask. Just type in on eBay or AliExpress UVH900. Uh, this is basically like a, an insulated or insulating glue which glues the wires down, uh, it cures with UV light but it basically glues the wires down and prevents them from lifting up as well as well as insulating them so I've kind of got a few different tasks I'm going to 
just coat them all in UV mask, solder mask, conformal coating, whatever you want to call it. This step isn't absolutely absolutely necessary, but it does make for a much safer job. Prevents any risk of damage in the future. And it means that when I use the soldering iron to solder the pins, it's not going to cause them to lift up. The main goal for this is to stop them shorting out on anything else. Don't need to worry about these anchor points that I've created because they're ground anyway. I'm not bothered if they short out on the chassis. Right, time to blind everyone with UV light. Uh, right, okay, so now it's time to just solder these wires. So what I'm going to do I'm going to add some flux. I'm going to solder the anchor points first. I'll just line that up. Bonehead. Thank you, dude. Oh, dear. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> I have a very crude sense of humour. <laughs> Harpen became a member. Hey. Harpen, thank you, mate. I appreciate that, buddy. Repeat that, I missed it. I can't, I've got no way to repeat that, mate. Well, I'm not going to repeat it, though. I can't help what people say on their um, donations, but I'm not going to repeat it. That shit will get me demonetised. <laughs> I find it funny, but a lot of people won't. I've got a sense, I've got a crude sense of humour though. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm an asshole sometimes. Right. Nice big blob of solder. And this is not going to go anywhere by the time I've finished. Check that out. That is going to be as solid as a rock sometimes. Oh, like all the time. <laughs> yeah, that connector's hanging on for life now. It's never going to go anywhere. <laughs> So now I've just got to solder the actual pins. So usually I just flood these with solder. And I guess just hit and hope and hope that they actually make a contact with the jumper wires. I will test them before I actually put it back together though. I flood the pins with solder, hope it makes a contact with the jumper wire. If it don't, then I uh, I have to come back to it, but... Here it comes again. The bonehead tipped $2.36. They call Travis's mum the hen house because she has cocks flying in and out all day. <laughs> 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 right, so I'm going to just go into diode mode with the beeper on. And I'm just going to test all four of these pins. Don't need to test these, these are ground. Same as that one. Okay, that one's got a contact. I just need to hear a beep and that's it. But I think this one, one of these two doesn't beep. Uh, 1.37 volt drop to ground, so that is connected. But it just doesn't beep because of the high reading. So, yeah. All four of those are connected. That one does, just doesn't beep, that's all. But they are connected. And this job should be done. I do just need to make sure that none of them are shorted to ground. But I'll check that in a second once I've cleaned it. Well, the second pin from the left, that will be shorted to ground. Because that is a ground pin. 
but other than that the rest of them shouldn't be short to ground there we go all right let me just test make sure we've got no shorts to ground so i'll just go into continuity mode now and now it'll only beep if i've got a continuous path to ground like from there to there whoops so no yeah no no okay yeah that works for me and this connector is now absolutely solid like that's going nowhere that's stronger than the super glue that was on here to start with that is it's going nowhere there we go good stuff good stuff right moment of truth does it work yay or nay yay it does it does indeed uh, so we have the blue light the question now is, is it going to power on? Go to a white light and then is it going to display anything on the screen? Ah, uh, well, that would explain it. It needs reinstalling. Um, well, actually, it might not need reinstalling. Um, let me just break out of this operating system. Right, so I'll just press cancel on that. Thought you'd sorted it. Uh, well, technically it is. The job that I've, the job it came in for, like the, the issue it came in for is sorted. Um, it might just be because, well, it, it's just stuck in a safe mode loop, but I should be able to get it out of the safe mode loop. Yeah, I cannot start PS4, why? Right, the job it came in for, that's done. The power supply connector's working. So this console will live again. It might need a new hard drive, but I think uh, on to the next one, to be honest. 